the Red Alliance has a few good bots. Number two and number five currently are on their alliance. On the blue alliance, we're seeing the Digital Goats and two other high quality robots in what should be an exciting match. At the end of the auto period, both teams successfully engaged along with maneuvered. It's 49-47, a tight one. Very little space was made for that blue alliance. Now that the students are controlling the robots, they are flying around the field. 4272 Maverick Robotics attempts to drop a cone onto the high node. They can't quite do it. They will play the midfield for a bit. There's a couple cubes there. A strategy they use to limit their cycle time and score more points. Over on the blue side of the field, I'm almost certain there's about to be a field fault. 76-57 and 8-29 will both score cones for their reliance. 51-88, area 5188 will join them on the cone. 67-21 unfortunately does appear motionless on the field. They've got plenty of time to get back in action. 4272 has been playing the low nodes a lot, an unusual amount for this robot this match. It's an interesting bit of alliance strategy, what they do to stay out of each other's way. 6721 is moving again, thankfully. H29, the digital goats narrowly avoids a tip. They will slide back on the field like nothing ever happened. We're getting into our end game. It's 105-88. The Blue Alliance is still within 30 points. Uh, that could very much still be a decider. Blue Alliance is within striking distance. If they can all climb their um, messed up charge station. Forty-two seventy-two and Career Academy are both going to get up. That will be our match. One, zero. That was a thriller with some confusion in relation to the Blue Alliance's charge station. Let's see how it's scored. We'll be back with you in a moment. are good. It's the Blue Alliance. Winning 130 to 115. 829, the Digital Goats moves up into a picking position. 7657 right on their tails. Congratulations to our Blue Alliance picking up three ranking points. <laughs> 